In this video, we're going to be looking at the Diamond DA-40, an Austrian four-seater single-engine light aircraft constructed from composite materials. It's a low-wing tricycle gear aircraft with a T-tail. We'll cover performance, costs, safety, and competition in this video. As you can see, this is a pretty cool and luxurious modern aircraft. There are three categories of the DA-40, the DA-40, the DA-40D, and the DA-40F. The differences are the engines and the propellers being either fixed pitch or constant speed. Check out the DA-40D if you want a diesel engine, and the DA-40F if you want a fixed pitch propeller. You might see them advertised as slightly different lettering depending on the company that's reselling them, but those are the three main categories. There is also a DA40NG trainer, which is fairly new as well. Inside, they feature a luxurious interior with leather seats and a choice of several designs and colors. Additionally, it features a glass cockpit with Garmin Synthetic Vision SBT, which provides situational awareness to operators using terrain, obstacle, geopolitical, hydrological, and other databases. So SVT is kind of a real-world three-dimensional IFR simulator created through sensor fusion and 3D rendering. I think you'll all agree being sat in the captain's seat of this aircraft is a pretty awesome place to be. Look at that visibility. So performance, the Diamond DA-40 is powered by a fuel-injected Lycoming IO360 engine producing 180 horsepower. The Diamond DA-40 TDI uses a Centurion 135 horsepower diesel engine and burns diesel or jet fuel and has a constant speed propeller. The DA-40 NG Trainer has a turbocharged diesel engine producing 168 horsepower. The new diesel engine of the DA-40 NG allows for a maximum takeoff weight of 2,888 pounds, and its performance has been praised as spectacular. It has a rate of climb of 651 feet per minute, a max cruise speed of 154 knots, an economy cruise speed of 125 knots, and a stall speed of 63 knots. And at 60% power, the NG engine consumes about 5.1 gallons per hour. The Diamond DA-40 NG boasts decent performance, exceptional operating ergonomics, and mid-mannered handling characteristics, making it a perfect first aeroplane. If you want to know more about performance, see the link to Diamond's website. I'll leave a link below with this video in the description. For the interior, it features a luxurious interior with premium leather and several designs and colors some luggage space, of course, four seats, and as I mentioned before, you get great visibility. For costs, well, the operating costs of the Diamond DA-40 vary depending on the number of hours flown, of course, and the fuel costs, of course. According to forums online, owners genuinely say that the operating costs are relatively low. One owner reports that the average hourly cost to own and operate one is about $94 per Hobbs hour, while what fly or what to fly site states that the total variable costs are $67 an hour. An aircraft cost calculator estimates the annual budget of $90,000 US dollars is needed based on 450 hours per year flying at a fuel cost of $7.25 per gallon. I'll put links to these in the description below this video if you're interested to read more about that. To buy one, you're looking at around 215,000 US dollars or even up to like 300,000 US dollars. It depends varying on the equipment, the airframe hours, of course, and if you're importing it and have to pay that VAT. For safety, the Diamond DA-40 has several safety features, including unparalleled visibility, is agile yet forgiving flight characteristics, continued controllability through a stall, positive stability, and a castering nose wheel with steering via differential braking. Additionally, the Diamond DA-20 and DA-40 have a best fatality record when adjusted for fleet size. The DA-40 has an impressive industry-leading safety record, with only 11 runway losses of control events reported, and most of these events were in crosswinds with student pilots. You can read more about the DA-40 safety features and safety record on their site, link below again. For competition, well, you've got several competitors. In fact, there's no shortage of low-wing four-seater aircraft out there. You might want to look into the Cirrus SR-22, of course, the old Cessna 172 or 182, or a Sling TSI. You've got the Pipistrel Panther 
Panthera, a Pioneer 400. In fact, there's loads of them. There's so much choice for four-seater, low-wing, sexy-looking aircraft. I've actually made a video on my top five sexy-looking, low-wing, four-seater aircraft, if you want to check that out. Also, let me know what competitor aircraft you would consider in the comments. If you're looking for older, cheaper aircraft, you might want to consider comparing the an older DA-40 to a Cirrus SR-20. According to Aviation Consumer, the Diamond DA-40 is more forgiving to fly than the Cirrus SR-20. However, Texas Top Aviation states that performance-wise, both aircraft are about equal, with the Cirrus SR-20 having a slight edge in terms of fuel efficiency. Additionally, the site Y Cirrus states that the Cirrus SR20 has better cruise performance than the Diamond DA40 at 6,000 feet. Then there's the more nimble DA20 to consider, but that's only two seats. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to know more about the Cirrus SR22, check out this video here. And if you want to know my top five sexy low wing four seater aircraft, check out this video here.